Hi, this is Keena Nisley with Team K Squared of Keller Williams, and we are bringing you The Life of the Land is in Its Real Estate. Today's guest is Colette Ching. She is the Regional Director of Inland Empire and the Operating Principal of KW Maui, Brentwood, California, and Honolulu. Hi, Colette. How are you? Hi, Keena. I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming. So just go ahead and tell us like, about yourself, who you are, your company, and, and what exactly is the regional director, director of the Inland Empire do? I'd love to. Uh, first of all, I want everyone to know that uh, we are practicing safe distancing. I'm in California, and of course, Kina's in Hawaii, which I wish I was there. It's beautiful. So I'm a really, originally born and raised in Hawaii, and um, I moved to California in 1990. I have 25 years plus of real estate experience. I'm the regional director of 21 offices in the Inland Empire in California. I also own three of my own franchise Keller Williams offices, KW Honolulu, Keller Williams Remote Maui, and new soon to be launched also Big Island and KW Brentwood. So yeah, I've been in real estate quite some time. I've seen a lot of cycles. Wow. Okay. So great. So where exactly is the market now? Um, California started this lockdown a couple weeks before Honolulu did. So what are you seeing um, in California's market versus Honolulu market? What maybe can we expect? Okay. So when we talk about the overall market, we were at Safer at Home Shelter on March 17th. So we were two weeks behind you and then other states and Hawaii soon to follow. And I think what you can expect is I, I do have some bad news and then I have some good news. So you pick which one you want me to start first at a very macro level and then I'll bring it down locally. Oh, let's hear the bad first. Okay, we perfect, the good. perfect. So here, here's the thing. Internationally, um, they're saying the IMF, which is International Monetary Fund that follows economies globally, and in the United States, they're saying, which I've heard already before, that this will be one of the worst financial crises you've ever seen. And it's not just a financial crisis. It's a global crisis, right? Health, political, <clears throat> economics. And so think about 2008 when we, had, we were hard hit with the financial crisis. That was Wall Street. That was also uh, banking. Right. This is a little bit different. So they're saying it's going to look more like the Depression era. So imagine that, you know, where prices dropped in real estate in California uh, in 2008, 2009, like 40 to 50 percent. Hawaii didn't feel that hit. You guys didn't experience that. So the good news is that while we're experiencing this in the mainland and I'm a local, so I can call it the mainland. And we're experiencing this internationally. The good news is they feel that the U.S. and global will hit a depression because of unemployment. Unemployment will go up as high as 30%. In 2008, it was 12%. What does this mean for the markets? This is what it means. People are taking their money, some of it, out of the stock market, and they're investing it into assets. And what's an asset? real estate. Mm -hmm. So the good news is we're going to have a bumpy ride. So imagine like a roller coaster ride, stocks, real estate investing. In California alone, I recently heard that in the last 10 days, 216 homes were taken off the market because of cancellations or on hold. We're same time that year with 71 listings, low inventory and everything sold in the first day. So again, you're not experiencing that in Hawaii. Yeah. So the good news is, and I, I'm sure you're getting these calls, Kina, if you're dealing with investors and you have liquidity, people are buying. They're going to they're gonna come off of this, stay at home. They're going to be cooped up. And one of the first things they're going to do is shop. Consumerism is going to come back. They're going to look at real estate, something a little bit more solid. So even though we feel we're going to have a decline in California, maybe 25%, 30%, I don't believe that's going to happen in Hawaii, especially with the low interest rates right now. And maybe you're going to be longer to get that hit. Maybe your hit is 160 days out versus we're seeing that hit right now for us. 
So, yeah, because we're still seeing um, activity. Right. We are still, and, and, and as I mentioned to Cole earlier, I got two calls today from uh, buyers in California that are offering on properties here. There so they're, they're, they're ready to, to get out. And, and start using some of the... And here's the good news, right? Here's the good news. If people are really liquid and they have cash right now, they're going to control the market. So in every shifting market, there's a, a buyer or a seller that will buy and sell. We just got to figure out who they are. And so yeah. for investors right now, or those buyers sitting on the sidelines that couldn't buy that really nice property, with interest rates coming down, and property values coming down a little bit and an abundance of inventory, my guess is buyers are going to get some good value and sellers can trade up. Yes. So, okay. So we do still have buyers and sellers. So what are your agents doing differently to get these properties sold? Okay. So we have to pivot, right? So this happened. Uh, we can't go into homes. We can't show homes. So a lot of virtual marketing is happening. A lot of Zoom conversations. I don't know about you, <laughs> Kina, but I'm on Zoom call every hour. I feel very connected, you know, and th this is what's so great about this next wave of how real estate's going to happen at least over the next six months, because everything is going to have to be safer at home, virtual. Things are going to have to be clean. Sellers are going to have to make sure that they need to make sure that the buyers before entering their property, whether they're there or not, they sign, you know, a disclosure yeah. and that, you know, buyers, the same thing that they uh, extend their contingency periods until they can actually have an inspector go in. So, the, you know, we just have to pivot and adjust. But if you have a, a buyer out there that's been looking and they're willing to buy virtually, they're going to get some amazing deals right now. Yeah. Right. They're going to get some amazing deals. Sight unseen or see through virtually. It's the same thing. Yes, so we're doing a lot of business differently. Yeah, a lot of FaceTime showings. Absolutely. A lot of virtual open houses, and we're still seeing activity. Right. The listing agent has to go through the property and now present it in a yeah. way that was different, right? Really connecting with the consumer. So what, what's really great about our company is that we have this consumer app. And so the consumer now, like think about banking. You know, mobile banking deposits change the way we do business. Do we really yeah. need to go to the banks and deposit? No. So with this consumer app, a client like yourself could actually look at property online and put in an offer online. Yeah. And an agent and the consumer can be connected. That's the way, that's where we're headed. Yeah. So, and it is working. Yes, so is. you, you've been in real estate for several years, um, yes. started when you were 12. And yes. Thank you. <laughs> you, um, in 2008, was the, is this reminiscent of what you saw in 2008 or no? No. And I'll tell you why, because 2008, as I said, was when we had, you know, a bear market, stock market crashing, which is what you're seeing. But if you're watching the stock market now, it's going like this. Oh, it's like bouncing. Yeah. I mean, in 2008, it just went like this, right? Steady decline for like four or five years. Same with real estate. You saw the decline in California, not so much Hawaii. But what I do see that's similar, similar is that the interest rates are the same. So 3.5, anything under 3.5, it's unbelievable that that's the same. That's, you know, agents, uh, after being through that, they understand short sales, foreclosures, defaults. Mm -hmm. That's coming back, Kina. That's coming oh, yeah. Back. So, it, so it, agents that were those agents in that market, they're jumping in and they're, they're already pivoting and fast and connecting with banks. There's all this ghost inventory. It's going to come out. So yeah. yeah, it's, it's the same in that way. Very different. And, health. I mean, we weren't forced to stay home. We were, we were able to show actual property, even if it had a lockbox on it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Times are different. Definitely. Yeah. It is very different. Now we show with a mask and a yes. bucket yes. of white. Yes. Um, so if you can make a prediction, where do you think we're going to be in, in six months? Where do you, where do you see the market going? So, if, so my prediction, uh, California and Hawaii, like I said, you guys, uh, depending on when you come back, 
the, the thing that's going to be the biggest challenge for Hawaii is the unemployment. Uh, with closing down tourism for two, two months, two whole months, it's going to take a minute for you guys to get back up. And even though you're seeing offers and you're seeing people invest, these are people that have been liquid and have been saving, right? So my guess is in the next six months, you guys will see a steady um, upward movement with investors. More investors are going to buy, right? So that's going to be good. But your economy and the age of the people that are working the day to day, they're going to have a hard time adjusting and getting back. In California, we're in it till the end of the year. It's going to be for us because, again, you're on an island. You have beautiful ocean around you. And if I was living in, um, you know, I was living in Northern California and I was paying a million dollars, I'd rather come to Hawaii and pay a million dollars and go, you know, it's time for me to go to my next level of life. So you guys are going to be great. Uh, however, I would say to you that there are going to be defaults. There are going to be, you know, short sales. So you might want to get familiar with that market again. And yeah. In California, we're in this for probably in this ride for the end of the year because they may pull us back in again and say, stay at home another two months. Yeah. So we have to be prepared. So do you have any advice for people who would like to sell or buy a home now? So what's your advice for sellers right now? So my advice for sellers is if you have a lot of equity in your property and you've lost your job or you're not quite sure where your income's going to come in, you might want to think about refining, uh, refining, taking a little bit money out if you don't have any reserves, right? Or if you're a seller and you always wanted to buy that nicer property, but that nicer property was so expensive, I might consider looking at my equity and going, wow, maybe the prices have come down on that nicer property. Or if I want to reduce my expenses because I'm going to retire and now I'm like, you know, what, I'm not working, then I might want to downgrade. But I have enough equity in my home to put some money aside. So just a couple ways of thinking about it. There's always opportunity within the opportunity. Yes. That's my favorite saying. Yes. So yeah, That's so for sellers, seller. yeah. refinance, uh, maybe yep. to sell and buy something and new. Price so. it right. Price yeah. it right. Whatever yes. you gotta do, if you're really a seller, be a real seller. You yes. know, don't just test the market out. Yeah. So what advice would you have for buyers if, if somebody was waiting to buy? Well, you know, there's no time like now because you can never forecast or predict when the bottom is. I mean, look. We've got the COVID-19, tourism has stopped for two months. You've got 3.5 interest rates. Do you realize, Kina, that if interest rates were 4.5, that a buyer would lose 10% purchasing power? Oh, yeah. So, right? So if I'm looking at a million dollars and a couple of six months ago was at 4.5 and now it's 3.5, I now can afford a million one. So, what might I get at that, right? Yeah. Or a condo, a, a better condo. So it's a great time for buyers right now, especially if they have cash sitting and they qualify and they have great credit. Yes, and yes. Don't forget the short sales. Great time to look at the values right now. Yes, definitely. So what can people do to maybe educate themselves during this time? We're all home. People are getting bored. What could they do to educate themselves to maybe prepare themselves to sell or to buy? Well, I think first and foremost, get with a professional agent. That's really important. I mean, how you can prepare is the way we're going to list a home now is going to be very different the way we listed it three weeks ago, right? Oh, yes. So how you prepare is if you already decided, hey, I'm going to sell. Get yourself a professional agent and Kina's on the call. So there's an agent <laughs> right there. And I would want to have inspections and everything done prior. I want Definitely. a tour of the home. I want to make sure anything that's going on with the house that you prepare the home. So when it's on the market, it's clean stage, ready to go. Right. Yeah. Um, if you want to figure out refinancing, we've got amazing mortgage opportunities. Um, our company has a zero plus cost loan. There are local banks that are doing some great deals right now. So look into what your property can appraise for. And you don't have to pay for an appraisal. Again, be prepared. Call your professional agent. 
and get a value read on your property. If you know, again, if you don't have any reserves or you want to do a heat lock and put some money aside. So there are many ways and many things you can follow right now for sellers. So yes. And when she says inspection, she means a pre-listing home yes. inspection. Yes. And we can connect you with uh, a lot of different inspectors that'll come in and they're doing it differently now. Yep. Because of, of COVID, they're, they're doing all their, their feedback via the phone or FaceTime. Um, but I definitely recommend those pre And the thing is, you want to bulletproof these transactions, yeah. right? When a seller finally commits to selling, they don't want to be in the middle of an escrow and all of a sudden things happen. So right now, more than ever, we have to prepare on the front end. That's yeah. why the pre-physical inspection, the pre, you know, anything that can be done prior to so that when the property is on the market, it's ready to go and you can disclose whatever you have to disclose. So that's for the sellers. Yes. So how would a buyer educate themselves to get ready to buy in this market? Okay. So if I was a buyer today and I've been looking, I would first go to a lender and want to know, okay, what do I qualify for? right? And get an idea and pick the areas that I really like and find a local expert in those areas. And just, uh, you can window shop now. Isn't that yeah. great? You don't have to actually go and get in a property, but I would start looking at the areas and communities you like on the island and work with an agent and they can email you all this and you can do this in your leisure time and just understand and watch in the next 30 days pricing what's happening and get the best value. You don't want the most expensive property. You want the best value property in a good neighborhood, right? Yes. yes. There was something I learned a long time ago, Kina. I love this. It's, uh, it's a saying, you know, sell at the wedding, buy at the funeral. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, so right now with COVID-19, I don't mean to be morbid, but with everything going on, this is a great time as a buyer to look at the values. Yes. You know, what's the values that are out there? Yeah, because there there are some deals out there. Um, people are really much more willing to negotiate yeah. than ever before. Yeah, um, we're yeah. still seeing um, new properties come on every day. I think I, I checked yesterday; we'd had 140 new listings last week, um, and 89 went into escrow. Um, so we're still seeing movement, but I, you definitely still want to get out there. And if it's a good property, it still goes fast. Yeah. Yeah. And you can be, you know, you as a buyer can be your own expert now. You can peruse, shop online, you know, and sort of kind of just like I said, window shop and be a voyeur and start looking at the properties as they come up and then make your move once you're ready, you have the financing and you're qualified. So, okay, so what resources um, are out there? So like, what what is Keller Williams? What do you guys provide? So we have, like I said, we have Keller Mortgage, zero cost loan. What that means is exactly what I says. It doesn't cost you anything to get a loan or refi, no points. Yeah, you heard me right. Yeah. Refi, no points, and they give you $1,000 towards appraisal, closing. It's unbelievable. I personally just closed today on a refi, and I, I got a 2.6% loan. 2.6 zero wow. cost so that only comes through keller williams and then the second thing is we have keller covered which is an insurance which is a great insurance to match your insurance locally so car insurance health insurance um, property insurance right now sellers and buyers have to look at ways to save money and these are ways for us to reduce it reduce our expenses so those are just two or three things that we have. Um, okay, so now um, anything else? Uh, you mentioned the app. Do you do you want to? Oh yeah. So the that a little bit more? is awesome. So I don't know if you can see this or I can show it to you, but I just want to show this to you. It's so much fun. So do you see that? Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you see all those squares or things? Those are all the properties right here in my neighborhood. Wow. So you know, people are sitting home bored. They can just kind of pull out yeah, their phone. Yeah, I can go 1.5, 900,000. Oh, I want to look at 799. That never happens in my neighborhood. So this is what's so great. So your agent at Keller Williams can give you access to this consumer app. 
and I can apply for mortgage on the consumer app. I can do many things. I can navigate. I can put in my area. If I was a seller, I could put in my address and find out what my competitors and neighbors are listing their homes for. So wow. this is how a seller and buyer can be prepared in this market. All right. So are you hearing of any issues? I know with, with everything that's going on, um, it may be harder for people to, you know, appraisers to get into the homes, inspectors. So what kind of issues are we seeing right now? And, so and it, how can it, we it, avoid those? So, okay, we call it bulletproofing the transaction. We can't avoid these new things that are happening. This is new to all of us. So there are going to be glitches. So what we're hearing is appraisals, right? Uh, if they don't come in at the appraisal price. So what you can prepare for is the listing agent maybe provides all the comps to the appraiser beforehand to prove the eligibility of that home and that value, right? So inspectors, you know, making sure we have a pre-inspection. Things are falling out because maybe the inspection came back and it wasn't as good as they thought it would be, you know? So bulletproof it all the way up front so that you don't enter into an escrow where you have challenges all the way through. So this is all new to everyone, the way we have to handle this. So the signing of docs, title, I mean, this can all be done. You know, we can do wires, we can do traveling notary, we can do online signing, you know, it's amazing what we can do now with Zoom and, you know, the emails. So we were yeah. meant to be in this next generation. Yes. So, and we're still seeing the Bureau of Conveyance is still yeah. open, still closing. We are so lucky, right? It's yes. Like so business. Even though title has stepped in and said, we'll cover it if, if something happens. Yeah. But right now, I mean, knock on wood. We're Everyone, you know what's really great about what's happening, Kina? There's so much collaboration, community, and yes. connection. Do you yes. feel that? Oh, I, yeah, so much more um, negotiation, easier to negotiate. Everybody wants to help each yeah. other. You know, you're definitely a team now. Yes, yes. Step in. Everyone is working together to yeah. close the transaction. Everyone's working together to show the property. Everyone's working together to do yes. the inspection. Yes, yeah. it's a very they, different they time. I've had escrow step in. We were $3,000 apart. Escrow stepped in and said, we'll give both sides a credit. There There's you go. Credit everybody's making it work. And I, I, I wish it was like this all the time, but yeah, it yeah, definitely yeah. we're seeing a lot more cooperation. So is there anything else you, you want to share or kind of just to motivate people and, and let us, I, I really truly feel like we're going to be okay through this. Yes, um, anything you'd like to share? Well, here's the thing I'd like to share. First, you have to survive this. And then on the other side is you're going to thrive. So the, the, the biggest challenge is if you don't take action. If you're taking action every day and you're connecting with people every day, you're in forward moving. Things are going to happen. That's what the universe does, right? There's a quote that Paulo Coelho says. He wrote a great book I love called The Alchemist. And he says, the universe is conspiring in your favor. So you just have to keep moving and helping people. Right now, it's more important than ever to be of service. It's not about the sale. It's about how can you serve and help. So that's what I would leave you with. It's all about community connections and conversations right now. Yeah, just coming from 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 getting. Yeah. 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 Um, so during these times, like like in 2008, we lost a lot of agents. Oh yeah. Uh, so I, I have listened to the the shift book four times now. Yes. Uh, and we lose a lot of agents and they, you know, they're telling you how it's a great time to go out and, and build your, you know, your sphere because yeah. you've lost agents. But what kind of motivation or what would you tell agents that are in that rough spot and, and are thinking of maybe I shouldn't be doing this anymore? So here's what I'll say. If you thought you were in the business of selling real estate, you're wrong. You're in the business of connecting people to real estate. So if you're not talking to people every day, then yes, you should think about leaving the business. And if you're talking to people every day, you're going to be fine. It's all about connections right now. So, you know, there are going to be people, Kina, that aren't going to make it. That's yeah. just the way it is. Just like right now, there are going to be businesses that aren't going to make it. Okay. The strong survive. I actually like a shift because it makes me forge forward and I'm always looking at other opportunities. And right now, 
there are opportunities out there for the right agents who are looking for it. So, so it's connection time, people. Yeah, it's not definitely. Real estate, it's connection time. Yes, it's definitely pulled out the creativity. Um, I will say, yeah, every day I wake up and think of something new. Yeah. What can I do today? New. So, yeah. all right. Well, thank you so much for, for oh, sharing welcome. with us. And, um, I appreciate being on yeah. this. I hope I helped you in some way. Yes, it, it was great information. And if anybody has any more questions, they can always leave a comment or they can yeah. reach out. Um, I always answer um, my questions that, that come up. Um, we're here. Like I said, we're still moving forward. We still have some great listings. We have a great investment property down in Waikiki that has two um, rentals in you buy one, you get two. Wow. Um, yes. And it's um, a great little property right between the LOI and Waikiki. So if you'd like more information on that, you can reach out. And our next guest in two weeks will be Johnny from, uh, I don't remember who he's from. from. He's a lender. Sorry. He is a lender. And he is going to come talk to us about the effects of the, the where the interest rate is, where it might go, and, and what we can expect to see in the future with that. So thanks for being with us. Thank you again, Colette. You're welcome. Awesome. You. Thank you yes. for having me. Take care. All right. Bye-bye.